Play with the choice. Begin to experiment. Begin to experience. Use your heart and not the mind. Did I enjoy it? Did it feel good? Did it make me wish to pursue it again? This is where the higher dimensional access comes from. Simply by doing what you love accesses the higher dimensional frequencies and opens you to more experiences in those dimensional frequencies. Hey everybody, it's Tanya here. Welcome to my channel where I get to bring forward incredible pieces of art like this one by channeling high dimensional frequency energy. And I bring forward messages from different groups that help you as you are going through this experience as a spiritual being on the earth plane called the soul awakening, the soul journey, the spiritual awakening and the great shift. However you like to call it, it's the same experience that we're all having, which is realizing that there's a lot more going on around us and many more opportunities to live in a different way than we'd ever known before. And today I'm working with a group called the Ursa Minor Collective, and they have a really interesting message for us today. And one that I thought was really great because it's giving us an example of how to use their ideas and concepts to see things with a new perspective, but also how to use these ideas in our day-to-day -day living. So it's really helpful that way. If you haven't been to the channel before, please do like, share, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe, and then you'll get notified of all the new videos that come out every week. And don't forget to leave a comment below because you never know who you might be helping simply by sharing what you're going through when somebody else is maybe too shy to put down their own experience. So thank you for that in advance. Now, before we get to the art process and the channeled message, I also wanted to encourage you, if you haven't already, sign up for the newsletter because every month now I am now giving away a new Starseed art print to one subscriber. Okay, you guys, I am excited to share this one with you and don't forget to watch all the way through. It's a really interesting message and I will see you guys on the other side. We step into this now moment as representatives of the group that you refer to as the Ursa Minor Star System. We speak to you today about the shift in consciousness that is happening on your planet and the part that we have here for you in this now moment as supporters and as those who are assisting you in creating a new framework in moving forward in the experiences that you may have on the earth plane. As you know, those of you who connect into this transmission, you have stepped into this state of consciousness and awareness to assist in your own way the evolving and moving forward from one state of vibrational frequency to another, that of which you call the collective human consciousness. Many of you are also aware that this extends outside of what you would call human, for there are many of you on the planet who are remembering that you are beings of multidimensionality, as we had transmitted earlier, there is an awareness amongst those of you who have already begun to shift your frequency that there is a way of beingness that you wish to pursue as a collective consciousness. And as more of you begin to remember, uh, to open up to these ideas that you have brought forward, to agree to different ways of being, different opportunities. In fact, an entirely different experience than you have had up to this point. For if you look at your own experience as a human, and you think to where you had been in your previous history as a human, did you even know that such possibilities were available to you? that such ways of being were even available. 
And so, in retrospect, you can see that those who follow after you are in that same moment. This is why it is called the awakening, the great shift, the remembering. Because it is as if a veil were lifted up and off, and you can suddenly see a myriad of other available options. Our role within this is to work with your subconscious and the energies of frequency. For do not forget, dear one, that your beingness is made of multiple frequencies on different levels. And within there are a collection of agreed upon ideas and ideals and what you might call rules moving forward so that those of you that are identifying as human, as humanity, having the human experience, have some commonalities in place. And so with this great awakening, one of the agreed upon ideals is that you are shifting a frequency from the lower densities to the higher And so you are, uh, in a way, walking through many different realities at the same time. Uh, You will have heard, of course, that the lower density is where you are experiencing uh, the heaviness of the duality in its most pristine example, where you can feel those emotions that you refer to as lower level, such as grief and shame, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, anything that uh, you feel can pull you into a space that you don't wish to dwell in for long. Now, of course, it gives you perspective on having the higher frequencies, those which you seem to desire more, Uh, yet both are equal experiences. Now, as this group of you have decided to move from one frequency to another, you are doing this in many different ways. As many uh, humans are on the planet, are as many ways and opportunities available to shift the general consciousness. Our role within this is to work in laying down the frameworks for many of you to follow. So in the creation of this non-linear space that is enjoying its experience of having linear time, of having a linear path, we are contributing to that. And so giving you a way to move from one experience to the next in a way that gives you a sense of comfort and familiarity to what you have had previously. For instance, if you had had a life where you went from one event to the next in a linear way, with the conception of time, the before, the during, the after, and the moments of now, were that to suddenly change, and the perception of time was gone, and you had this ability to suddenly feel into what you wish to experience, and to manifest it directly, There would be much chaos, there would be much confusion, and for many who had not been able to step up into this experience slowly with experience and with opportunity to play in experimenting with one way of existing, another way of existing, uh, it could be a very disruptive process. Uh, We are reminded of an amusing anecdote from this conduit uh, of a uh, well-known play uh, show, she says, uh, the Star Trek, where there was a experience of many that walked into a higher dimensional frequency and were unable to control their thoughts. And so we're manifesting from a lower frequency feeling of fear or anger or anguish. And so rather than having the experiences that they wanted, they were reliving those that they did not want or those that they had had previously. And so this is why this process is moving uh, for you in your conception of time in a slower fashion. Now we are here also to assist with the dismantling 
of the way uh, that these lower frequencies have been handled by other forces. Now, there are, of course, the human contingent that are aware of the manipulation of the time and space and energy of the collective that are here enjoying the Earth experience. And, of course, many of them are working with other beings of different frequency. Uh, some of them uh, of a higher frequency, some of them of a lower and so what has happened is the lower frequency beings do enjoy that frequency and wish for it to continue. And so they wish for things to stay uh, rather the same, if not reverting back to a way that has even a more dense frequency. The lower and denser the frequency, the more available the experiences of Again, the emotions that you would consider negative or heavy. The higher the frequency and the vibration, the more accessible are the emotions and experiences of the lighter emotions. And so uh, this history of the lower density reigning supreme on the planet has come to an end. And you are on the precipice of this shift from one state of being to the other. Many are staying in the lower frequency. Many are choosing to shift up. And the Great Awakening is simply a matter of individuals remembering that there is a choice. That does not mean that the Great Awakening automatically mm, brings all up into a higher dimensional frequency. No, uh, this is not true. In fact, this is a, a wonderful uh, timeline that can exist. If you wish to be in that, you can play. Uh, but at this point, in this, again, linear time, you are at the precipice of choosing one or the other and knowing uh, from groups like ours and others that it is simply a matter of veils being lifted, of opportunities being presented, of choice being available. Because it is a free will planet, you have the opportunity to choose where you wish to reside in your time and space. And this is a valuable, if not fundamental, lesson for many of you. For it is uh, often perceived, and if not uh, created, by many this presentation of spirituality equaling a life of ease and freedom and carefree existence where all is taken care of and there is no struggle, there is no challenges. Now, were this to be true, you would be in a different place of residence. The earth is a planet of duality and so there will always be high and low, in and out, up and down, oppositions, always. To create these ideas of the spiritual awakening being light and easy and breezy and filled with nothing but uh, good vibes only is yet another seed that has been planted to create, in the end, doubt and sadness and lower density. For if you believe that this is uh, an attainable goal very quickly, very fast, and then it is not achieved, what happens to the human? There is, of course, a fall. And where do they fall? They fall back down into the lower density. And so part of the work that we do is to remind you of this and to support you in the climb into the density and experience that you wish to be in. So to leave behind the notion that all is light and easy and free is not the idea here. The idea is to remind you that there is a balance, dear one, and the balance is what brings you to a place of stability and confidence and self-worth. For as you go through these difficult experiences, it creates within you a sense of confidence because you know that you have achieved something through your work, your change, your awareness. 
Were it simply to be given to you, you would not have the oppositional to compare. And so it would have less meaning, if any meaning at all. And this is why there is this push and pull. Because it gives you the reflection. It gives you the ability to take yourself up to another step, another level. It is also our work to create, if you might see them in your mind's eye, uh, linear channels and pathways to allow you to move into that which you wish to experience, but also giving you a retrospect on where you have come from. And so as you move forward into your great awakening, into these higher consciousness shifts, where the collective of energies on the planet, including those uh, of you and those who are shifting up into those frequencies, have made agreements to have an existence in a certain way. And what does this mean? It means that you agree that there are different experiences available to you. Again, to make it very simple, uh, it is a matter of suddenly having an awareness that there is a choice that you did not even know about. That previous to this, you felt that your life had to go a particular way or that you only had the ability to do uh, choice A or choice B. Now you are seeing that not only is this uh, not true or applicable anymore, you have choice C, D, E, F, an infinite choice. So it is really a matter of exposure and then allowing you as the human to use your discernment, your intuition, your abilities as a sensitive being to feel aligned into what you wish to do. The key word here is feel. You are learning to feel. The humans in the higher dimensional frequencies are becoming more attuned to their emotional body. And that is where the discussions of the mind and the heart, the balance between them, the embodiment of the soul into the physical body, all of these merging of two separate ideas into a third entity, a third energy, are evolving. And so we leave this for you today. Uh, we understand that uh, many of these concepts may be new. We encourage you to listen to this again. We encourage you to enjoy the frequency of what we are saying that are in and on this frequency of art that are coming uh, from this conduit, from us, through and out, so that you can see it in a tangible way. So that the teachings and the information that we bring forward today are actually within this art. Looking upon it will be the same as listening to this transmission. So we encourage you to move forward, dear ones, to know that you are supported, to know that if you need assistance, there are many of us here to help you, and that there are many choices available to you. So play with the choice. Begin to experiment. Begin to experience. Dip the toe in the water, as they say. Try many different things. See if it feels good. Connect to your heart. Use your heart and not the mind. Use the heart after the experience. Did I enjoy it? Did it feel good? Did it make me wish to pursue it again? This is where the higher dimensional access comes from. Simply by doing what you love accesses the higher dimensional frequencies and opens you to more experiences in those dimensional frequencies. Do you see? So we shall leave it there uh, for today. We thank you for the opportunity to come forward and speak. Uh, we are a representative of what you are referring to as the galactic system of Ursa Minor. And we enjoy our time and experience with you here today. We are grateful to this conduit uh, for allowing us to come forward into this now moment to speak with many of you. And we look forward to having the opportunity again in another now moment. 
And here we are with the finished painting, which is a little different than normal because these are the actual light codes in all of these glyphs. And I think it came out beautifully. I really enjoyed this message. And if you did also, when you're resonating with the work or you have any questions, pop them in below. I love to hear from you guys. Don't forget also to sign up for the newsletter and be eligible for a Starseed print giveaway. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video.